we had a great June quarter doing a bit over 17,000 ounces at Tommingley. And the big driver for that, which you can see in the tables we've contained within the report, is that because we're stoping at Roswell, and we have been since April, that the grade has improved. So you can see well into the, you know, around the 2.4 for underground stope or at Roswell, which is fantastic. And that drives down the cost. You can see our all-in sustaining cost for last quarter was 1850 And what this really does is it points towards where we're heading with Roswell. So we've given guidance a 70 to 80,000 ounce run rate next year. And you can see that this is 70,000 ounces or, or just under that for the, for the run rate for that quarter. So it's, it's very encouraging. And I think the other highlight, of course, is um, from, from Tommingley, the other highlight is the progress of our pace plant and flotation circuit and all the other stuff that we're doing there to get ready to increase production and recovery even further. Talking about the 20 million tonne per annum processing scenario for Boda Kaiser, what we saw there was a series of very large open pits and delivering you know, the required tonnes to run at that run rate. We didn't particularly look at going underground, as I mentioned on the webinar. We didn't. We, we had a very small long hole open stoping. So we didn't look at a sub-level cave. So there's obviously a lot of potential. Only, you know, nearly 30% of the resource has been used in this scoping study. And that shows a net present value at today's spot prices, or actually bid under today, of just on $1.8 billion. And for the first five years, that mine would have a run rate if everything was gold ounces, it'd be 280,000 ounces per year. But over the whole 17 years, 225,000 ounces. So quite a substantial deposit, which naturally should extend into an underground and quite a long life asset. So in that scoping study, we've dived into that. We've dived into a whole heap of other metrics, how we might build it. We've talked about all the infrastructure work that needs to occur. So there's a fair bit there for people to wrap their heads around. But what it shows is at today's prices, there'd be a 24% return and you'd pay it back in about the first four to five years. So that's a very encouraging result for this stage of the process. Mm -hmm. Actually, year 2025, we've got a couple of big things that we want to achieve. Number one is we want to finish the pace plant and flotation and fine grind at Tommingley and really lock particularly the pace plant and paste underground into the process and the way we do stuff. Because we're gunning for 70 to 80,000 ounces, that's our, that's our guidance. And we will be chasing that down. That's what we need. That's what we want to achieve. So just delivery of what we've already got well underway is part of it. We also want to advance the decline development at Tommingley. I've said our AOC will be a bit higher next year. That's because we're developing both up and down at Tommingley. So we're doing a lot of decline work. So we want to really set ourselves up for the future years there because the year after that, we ramped to 80 to 90,000 ounces. And then at the start of calendar year, so halfway through the financial year, so the start of calendar year 2025, we want to be pushing towards moving the highway and starting to expand the throughput so that in FY26, we can be expanding the open cuts there. So starting those open cuts and then lifting up to the 100,000 ounce run rate. So for, for this year, that's what we want to be doing at Tommingley. And at Boda Kaiser, it's all about, like I've talked about, who might partners be, how might that look, and advancing the environmental studies there. So a bit quieter on that front. We've got a lot of greenfields, lower cost exploration going on as well, but particularly looking at uh, partnering and doing the environmental study work.